have you always wanted a long luscious and healthy relaxed hair but you realize that each time you go to the salon your hair doesn't add length it's stagnated it's the same way it was before you relaxed your hair and is suffering from severe breakage if it sounds like you there's a chance that there are certain habits that you've been adopting that has stagnated your relaxed hair's growth this video will explore 15 habits that might be standing in the way of your relaxed hair's growth journey so by identifying and understanding these habits you gain valuable insights into how to create a nurturing environment for your relaxed hair to flourish whether you're looking for long relaxed hair or you just want to improve the overall health of your relaxed hair this video will arm you with the necessary knowledge and tools that can help you to overcome these habits so without further ado let's start hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's adeline opera over here and on this channel we do all things beauty and lifestyle if it's something you're interested in then please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once any video is released all right okay the one important thing i want you to take note of in this video is that your relaxed hair is growing it is always growing if you don't believe me i just want you to check your hair especially if it's been a while since you relaxed it okay so just check your hair and you notice that there's this texture that is different from your relaxed hair it's usually between your scalp between your scalp and your relaxed hair okay so that texture did not just appear from anywhere okay it did not it's not your relaxed hair that formed maybe because you've not relaxed in a while no that hair grew from your scalp it's actually new growth i know before i used to think maybe it was my relaxed hair that just formed and went back to the normal way no it's new growth it came from your scalp it's not it's, it's like an additional growth okay it did not just appear from anywhere all right so that's what i want you to know it actually shows that your hair grew or your hair is growing however what makes your hair to add length or what makes people have long relaxed hair is not necessarily this new growth Although it's very important, but one thing I want you to take from this is that for your relaxed hair to grow or for it to add length, part of it or a percentage of it will depend on your ability to retain length, okay? And what limits you or what stops your ability to retain length is usually hair breakage. These habits that are wasting out is usually what causes your hair to break okay so if you can avoid or limit these bad habits then your hair will definitely be able to retain length and then you have a long relaxed hair. and not just a long relaxed hair long and healthy relaxed hair okay so i just wanted to put that out there so that you know that your hair grows it is always always growing and that's why when you go to the salon they tell you that oh your hair is due it means your hair has new growth which is due for relaxing okay i hope you understand that if you're not clear you can tell me in the comment section okay here are 15 habits to avoid if you want to promote the growth of your relaxed hair number one is over process frequent relaxer touch-ups can weaken the hair and lead to breakage so my advice to you would be to limit the use of relaxers to every 8 to 12 weeks or as recommended by a professional stylist i for one was a time when i used to relax my hair once a year okay i used to do it frequently before but then i started but this was because of phobia so i started relaxing my hair once in a year that was a mistake it was not planned I just noticed that was what just happened that year okay so I relaxed it once a year and then I noticed that my hair actually grew but then I could not keep up with that because it was really hard to maintain so what I started doing I said okay once a year was doing this to my hair was actually making me add length then how about I do twice a year yeah okay so I started having six months interval between my touch-ups and that again was very hard to 
maintain my hairstylist actually told me to why don't i do four months interval so every four months i'll relax my hair so that is three times in a year but if you have stubborn relaxed hair then please stick to eight to twelve weeks nothing less than that okay so another habit that you need to stop for your relaxed hair to grow is excessive heat styling frequent use of flat irons coiling irons and blow dryers can lead to heat damage and breakage so my advice to you would be to either limit limit or to minimize heat usage or to always apply if you think it's very necessary for you always apply heat protectant to your hair before styling it okay third habit that you need to avoid in order for your relaxed hair to grow is tight hairstyles constantly wearing tight hairstyles such as braids ponytails or bonds 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 can put a strain on your hairline advice to you would be to alternate with loser hairstyles if you can throw in a wig or something or just pack your hair like i'm doing right now you can do that and you're good to go okay corn rolls or something something that's not just too tight and be careful with who makes your hair that's another thing and give your hair regular breaks that regular breaks part is where most people get it wrong some people feel that once you're done with this hair once they're done with this hair they move to the next hair they don't even give their hair time to breathe they don't give their hair time to relax you must not always be on breaks you must not always be on um, packing gel you must not you can just pack your hair simply and go about your day it's not a crime Crying something like this is not a crime it's actually tidy and put together okay another point is a lack of moisture so relaxed hair tends to be drier and it's very essential for you to moisturize your hair regularly let's say your hair is in a bun like this you're not ready to make your hair yet you can use the opportunity to moisturize your hair you can use a water-based leave-in conditioner or a moisturizer and then seal it with natural oils okay so that is a very good way to deeply moisturize your hair another point is skipping deep conditioning i know a lot of us feel like deep conditioning is not necessary i know you feel like it's not important okay but it is so deep conditioning treatments can help to replenish moisture and strengthen the hair so by incorporating deep conditioning sessions let's say every once a week but we are not we both know that their hair is always out sometimes our hair is usually in a braid in a ghana weaving or something so i can say once in two weeks i feel like that's more understandable or whenever you take out your braids so deep condition your hair every once in two weeks i said deep condition not just condition deep condition okay another point is keeping trims regular trims are important to get rid of split ends and to prevent breakage okay so i'll put a picture on the screen to show you what it looks like when you have split ends so i'm actually very guilty of this particular point not until my last relaxed hair like um and by the way i have other relaxed hair videos so you can check it out on my channel so not until my last relaxer touch up okay that was the first time that i was actually trimming my hair even though it was not done properly i still need to get my hair trimmed properly the professional stylist to be the best this is because i was just happy with the extra length i was thinking that okay that is like my hair is long why, why do i want to cut it why do i want to do that to myself so i was just happy with that extra length and then only for me to go on youtube and watch this video and they say we should cut but trim that section of the hair then i thought okay maybe it was not applicable to me but i knew down in my heart that i had not trimmed my hair in a while or i'd never trimmed my hair before so i tried my best to trim my hair then now i know that Trimming your hair will improve the health of your hair and it will also reduce breakage, okay? So my advice would be 
um, if you want to start not if you want to is necessary if you want a healthy long relaxed hair it's necessary for you to start um, trimming your hair to start getting regular trims so the advice is to trim your hair every 8 to 12 weeks or after every relaxer touch up please go to a professional or maybe try and do it yourself at home there are so many videos on youtube about how to trim your hair after relaxing your hair trim your hair because after that day after that period within you like you have long hair so just just get it done immediately chop 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 it off all right that point is using harsh hair products so avoid products that contain harsh sulfates alcohols and high levels of chemicals one thing i want you to take note of or to avoid here is hair dye please do not use hair dye on your hair i know the new hair color or a different kind of color on your hair is fun and is vibrant and everything i know it is but in the long run okay in the long run is very very detrimental to the overall health of your relaxed hair so try and avoid it opt for gentle sulfate free shampoos and conditioners that are formulated for relaxed hair another point is rough towel drying vigorously rubbing your hair with a towel can cause breakage instead gently squeeze out excess water from your hair or you can use a cotton shirt if i'm washing my hair myself i make use of a cotton shirt when i go to salon it's not that convenient so i use the towel and they actually do not rub on my hair here dab okay so if you're using a towel just dab no need to rub even with the shirt just wrap it around and you're good to go another point is not protecting your hair at night i'm actually very guilty of this point i do not or i do but then i notice that by the time i'm awake it's 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 gone it's no longer on my hair again so i'm like what's the point so my other plan is either to get a satin scarf or to get a satin pillowcase or maybe a silk bonnet. I'll check out and see which one is much more favorable. So sleeping without not protecting your hair is actually not good. It damages or it leads to breakage. It leads to friction and tangling. It's more advisable to either sleep with a satin scarf or a satin pillowcase. Or choose one of them that you think would be better for you okay another point is over brushing excessive brushing of your hair can weaken the strands and cause breakage use a white tooth comb or a brush that has soft bristles to detangle your hair or you can use your fingers to detangle your hair please i don't it will be advisable if you have fingernails because they also cause damage to your hair especially when you're washing your hair please cut your nails if you want to wash your hair yourself another point i would like you to take note of is using the wrong hair tools so cheap or low quality hair tools can also cause damage to your hair my advice for you would be to invest in good quality brushes combs and hair accessories to minimize breakage for example rubber band that one that we get from packs i'm very guilty of this i'm not saying i don't do any of this i'm guilty of this but like you i'm also learning at least i have the knowledge of this and now you do too okay i plan on either using more of pins to pin my hair or to get this scrunchy type of rubber band or this um, there's this hair band that has a material around it i think that would be a better option as opposed using rubber bands i know rubber bands are easily accessible and they are cheap like you said cheap or low quality hair tools so let's avoid the use of cheap or low quality hair tools let's be mindful of these things and try as much as possible to limit hair breakage okay another habit that you should be mindful of is overusing extension and weaves constantly wearing hair extensions or weaves every single moment you're making your hair every single moment once you're losing this hair you go to the next hair you're losing this hair you go to the next hair it causes a strain on your hair sometimes allow your hair to breathe okay allow it to relax 
you know after the previous day we have at work or at school or whatever we come back and then we sleep the same thing should apply to your hair it's not every time there's always something on your hair there's always this hairstyle that you want to do guy relax take a step back allow your hair to breathe allow it to relax your hair needs it you can simply do a very simple style just pack your hair at least let there be some times that you pack your hair if your hair can be packed or you just put it in a cornrow and you're good to go okay this particular point i'm about to make is an additional point when different hands are touching your hair it's not good for your hair just notice that when i had specific people that were making my hair this period was when my hair started growing so limit the number of stylists that touch your hair okay it's not everybody that should be touching your hair reduce it okay today don't go to anti trauma tomorrow you go to sister rosemary next tomorrow you go to or next week next month you go to sister maka have one person if it's possible or two okay maximum three please not say more than that okay another point is poor nutrition just like how eating well or eating healthy plays a vital role in overall health of your body it's also very applicable to your hair okay so ensure that ensure that you're consuming a balanced diet that is rich in vitamins minerals and protein okay to support your hair health another point is excessive manipulation of your hair so constantly combing touching or styling your hair every single moment every single day your hand is always in your hair we are all guilty of this i think it's really difficult i think it requires a lot of discipline for you to avoid this but still let's try and limit these habits my advice would be to minimize manipulation of your hair and then adopt protective hairstyles that will maybe limit you from always touching your hair. Okay. Example of such protective hairstyles can be corn rolls. Maybe you can just throw in, you can just put all back. That's corn rolls and then maybe braids. Yeah, braids. A simple gel, like just gelling your hair back can do wonders okay i learned about this recently and that is anytime you apply gel to your hair no matter how little it might be do not run a comb through it your hair is going to break okay and then if you're always on let's say packing gel is your favorite hairstyle please and please do not carry it for more than two weeks in short one week say for like Two weeks, I feel two weeks is the max. Do not carry it for more than two weeks. It leads to hair breakage, okay? So be mindful of when applying gel to your hair. Everyone's hair is unique. So it's important to pay attention to your hair specific needs and then adjust your routine accordingly, okay? You can also consult a professional stylist that is experienced in working with relaxed hair. This professional stylist can also provide personalized guidance for your relaxed hair care journey okay so share this video with your friends that equally struggle with growing their relaxed hair don't forget to check out my relaxed hair playlist i'll link it down below somewhere thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video bye loves